Brothers and sisters, we are living in critical times right now. We do not know how much longer we will have to live on this earth. We must be prepared to leave this earth at any moment. This means that our hearts must be right with God. We must repent with true sincerity and brokenness of heart for all our sinfulness and wickedness before the Lord. Just as the Lord Jesus preached when he walked upon this earth, so he calls out to us today, Repent, for the kingdom of God is near. Truly, the kingdom of God is nearer now than ever. What does this mean? It means that all evil, corruption, and wickedness will be destroyed, and God's kingdom will reign on this earth. If you do not yet know God or have accepted His Son, Jesus Christ, into your life, now is the time to do so. Do not wait. The Lord warns us now as much as He did when He taught His disciples. Unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Please listen to the following Bible passages very carefully. Take them to heart and repent wholeheartedly before it is too late. I heard a voice that sounded like a roaring river. It said, The time is near when I will come to judge the people living on the earth. I will punish those who have hurt others with their injustice. Evil will be destroyed and deceit eliminated. God Most High will appear on His judgment seat. Mercy and patience will vanish completely and be replaced by judgment. Truth and faithfulness will once again stand firm. The good and bad that people have done will be fully revealed, and reward and punishment will follow immediately. The pit of torment, the fires of hell, will appear, and opposite them, the paradise of joy and rest. Then God Most High will say to the nations that have been raised from the dead, Look, I am the one you have denied and refused to serve. It is my commands that you have rejected. Look around you. There is joy and peace in one direction, fire and torment in the other. That's what he will say to them on Judgment Day. On Judgment Day, there will be no sun, moon or stars, no cloud, thunder or lightning. No wind, water, or air. No darkness, evening, or morning. No summer, spring, or winter. No heat, frost, or cold. No hail, rain, or dew. No noon, night, or dawn. No daylight, brightness, or light. The only light will be the dazzling brightness of God Most High, making it possible for everyone to see. The judgment will last seven years. The people of this world used their reason and sinned. They received God's commands, but did not keep them. They accepted the law and then disobeyed it. And that's why they will suffer torment. What excuse can they offer at the judgment? How can they answer at the last day? God Most High has been very patient with the people of this world for a long time, but it has not been for their sake. He has done it for the sake of the age to come. Judgment Day is final and sets the final seal of truth for all to see. You know that in this age a father cannot send his son to be sick for him or sleep or eat or be healed for him. An owner cannot send his slave to do these things for him, nor can a person send his best friend. In the same way, on that day, no one will be able to pray for another person. Each person will receive the punishment or reward for his own sinfulness or righteousness. The judgment day will be the end of the present age and the beginning of the future age. Then all corruption will end. Self-indulgence and disloyalty will be eliminated. Righteousness and truth will reach their full maturity. So on judgment day, no one will be able to have mercy on those who have been condemned, and no one will be able to harm those who have been acquitted. My friend, heed the words of God Most High and repent. Do not let the people of this world deceive you. God knows what every person does, whether in public or in private, and He will judge everyone according to their deeds. Do you want to be ashamed before all of heaven and earth? 
when God exposes all your deeds? If not, repent. Repent now. Turn away from your wickedness and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. God will forgive you, but you must approach Him with a sincere and truly contrite heart. Repent or perish. There is no other way. Shalom.